Look at this box. I don't think this video needs any further introduction. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, you're watching Gadget Match, and this is our Star Wars Jedi Challenges unboxing and hands-on. Back at IFA 2017 in Berlin last September, we got our first peek at this augmented reality headset and game made specifically for the upcoming Star Wars movie. And here we have the final retail version. I can't wait to open up this box. And I'm sure the Gadget Match team can't wait for me to open this as well so that they can start playing. So let's go ahead and dive in. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Here goes nothing. Wow. I'm not even a massive Star Wars fan, but this is pretty exciting. I'm to going to go ahead and lift this up. This is an authentic model of a lightsaber. Oh, now that is pretty cool. Mm. Mm. <laughs> And then next up, I believe we have the headset itself. It comes in this little black piece of plastic. And lots of plastic as well. One, two, three. I have to close my mouth. I think it's uh, open right now in awe. Four, and I think last but not the least, Five. So there you have it. This is the Lenovo Mirage Augmented Reality Headset. Oh, okay, let's try it on. Try it on for size. How do I look? How do I look? <laughs> do I look like I'm a character from Star Wars? Do I look like Robocop? So this game is not a VR game. It's not a virtual reality game. It's an AR game, augmented reality. So when I look through these, uh, this headset, I can see the world around me. And then later on, I'll be able to see uh, characters from the game kind of like in the real world. Next up is this flap, which I believe you remove, tells us to go to jedichallenges.com slash app, which I believe is the place to go to download the game. And then when you turn it around, it shows you how to charge both the lightsaber and the headset. Oh, okay. If I remember this correctly, there are three parts, the lightsaber, the headset, and last but not the least, this is the tracking beacon. So I think you need to put this on the ground. It kind of like identifies where you are vis-a-vis -vis the space that you're in. There's still more, there's more. Let's see what's inside this box. First up, you have the product guide. You have a set of zip locks. So I'm gonna make an educated guess. These are for connecting to various types of smartphones. So regardless of what uh, port you have, charging port you have, you should be able to connect this device to the headset. There's more inside the box. You have batteries. And I believe this is the last one, a USB wall charger. Okay, so that's it. That's everything in the box. The next step now is to figure out how to set everything up. Okay, so we're just about ready to set up. I have no idea how to, and the manual wasn't really that helpful. So we have the lightsaber over here. I figured that the um, power button is underneath, and there it lights up just like that. That's pretty awesome. I have no idea how to set this one up. I do know that the tracking beacon requires batteries. The best way to find an answer is to head over to jedichallenges.com apps. It took about eight steps to get Jedi Challenges up and running. The instructions are laid out carefully and are relatively easy to follow. The headset is secured with Velcro on its sides. Right off the bat, you'll feel that it's front heavy. There are three games available. There's Hollow Chess, where you control creatures in the Star Wars universe and move them around a circular chessboard to progress from one level to another. There's also a strategy game, reminiscent of old titles like Red Alert and StarCraft. For those unfamiliar, it's a bit of a real-time strategy game where you place units in specific areas of a field you control to defend your base. And last but definitely not least, the star of the AR game, where you pretend to be a Jedi and actually wield a lightsaber. Almost everyone has a chance to fight against Darth Maul, but it's not perfect. It was a little hard to move around with the front heavy headset, and maybe the game was better off with full VR instead of VR. That said, it's extremely satisfying. 
carrying gunshots from stormtroopers, and nothing beats the feeling of striking down force users from the dark side. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.